Where am I? Is this hell? Well, I could have seen it coming. I'm telling you, Mom, all your temperate turges are crazy. And the teacher said, Victor, is the right here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. Slow down, you'll get your clothes all dirty. I'm the head of this family and I deserve respect. You'll put me in an early grave. This is the end. You've lost. Did you not hear what I said? This is the end. I was wondering why you'd bother me again. You needed me, so here I am. It is time for the trial. What trial? Is this some sort of court? Barbarit. Yes. A trial over the conscience of Viktor Shulsky. Of what do I stand accused? And what weighs on your conscience? A clay colossus. A beautiful, destructive force. The threat you visited upon us. Yes. And do you understand why? Good. So you understand that every victory requires sacrifice. And the end only justifies the means. And so, you passed on the golem to another Tempromancer. Correct? I regret how the business with the golem ended. You mean how you ended it? What about Ligia? It's your fault her flaw was torn from her. By a stranger. Your sister will never be the same again. So, the defendant admits guilt and shows contrition. Go on. I'm not finished. It's all right. We have all the time in the universe. Your twin sister. Despite not having your power, she was only ever kind to you in this cruel world. She was genuinely happy to have you come back to her. She was alone here, you know. That's very noble of you, but is there room for a caring sister in your plans for the future? I don't think so. Soon you will be left alone again, and in time, no one will remember you. Does loneliness scare you? Is there even a recipe for getting to know someone enough to never feel lonely? Go on. It's not over. Certainly. So, what's next? You're a thaumaturge. As was your father, 
your grandfather, and your great-grandmother. You've always thought of yourself as better than others because of that. Are you sure? You can't hide anything from me. I've never felt special because of who I am. My power also reminds me daily of the disappointment I felt after you disposed of me instead of protecting me. Rubbish. I always understood you and did everything to protect us, at any cost. You're a fool if you still don't understand. Have you come down a bit now? Because Uper reminded you of what had happened. We can end by saying that I realized how much I threatened the family at that time. And exile was not cruelty. It was mercy. And the Black Grimoire? You always coveted it. And behold, according to the last will, it's yours. Do you think this means you've never meant anything? Have you changed your mind? Are you ashamed of your past glibness? I guess it's not a crime to change your views, right? Not at all. That's enough. Accusations and evidence have been presented, and witnesses as well as jurors have expressed their opinions. Are you ready to hear the verdict? I want to hear the verdict. What do you think the trial has revealed? It made me realize that I regret my decisions. And you think that's the way it should be? Yes, I acted against my own conscience and am now consumed with regret. The verdict is... guilty. Guilty of self-involvement, suppressing his conscience, and breaking others at will. Guilty, guilty, guilty. This cannot end like this. And it won't end until you begin on one of the paths. This is the only way you can atone for your transgressions. Are you talking about Rasputin and the Coterie? There may be other paths available. Which one do you prefer? What do you want to tell me? That you can reach the world following paths less trodden. But now, focus on what's in front of you. So? Why the Coterie? I believe that they are the answer to troubled times, and that they will be my rock. So, you accept everything that was meant for you will use it as you see fit. Are you happy with events taking this course? Yes, I want this. So, remember what it is you're feeling now when the time for the trial comes. And you? What would you do in my place? I died beneath that tenement house. What you see is an embodiment of your pride, conscience, or doubts. Those are the things you're arguing with, you don't. You are your own worst enemy. Go now. Will I ever see you again? That's entirely up to you. You are in charge here.
Let's meet in paradise, the garden near the fountain. You are Peter, a rock, and upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell shall not prevail against it. I have an idea who the author is, but I don't know how it's possible. I have no idea where to look for this paradise and garden. I'll think about this later.
Les gars. Christ, don't sneak up on me like that. How do you feel? You took care of me. Thank you. Forget it. I wouldn't have managed it on my own. Grazenka helped me. Are you sure you don't want to rest some more? Where is Grazenka? She left to get some supplies. It's hard to buy anything now, but she left yesterday and still hasn't come back. Maybe she just had to hide somewhere and is waiting. Did someone come here when I was asleep? Did we have any visitors? Apart from myself, uncle and Grazenka, I didn't let anyone in. The streets are not safe. Why do you ask? I found an unusual letter on the nightstand about a garden of paradise. What letter? The only garden that's being talked about now is the one at Dolinka Schweizarska. The Tsar and his entourage are planning to have a garden party in a park there. Would you use the phrase garden in the east to describe Dolinka? In the east? Dolinka is south of here. The only eastern thing about it is its guests. What is this party at Dolinka Schweizarska? The Tsar is celebrating his son's birthday. Is everything all right? You look concerned. That's because I am. Whatever is happening on the streets right now, it scares me. Is that why you unearthed Papa's musket? Does it still work? Just now I thought I would find out. Before you woke up, they shot a man on our street. He crawled away somewhere, but he was bleeding so badly. The entire city has gone insane. The governor general has closed the borders and isn't letting anyone leave. People have barricaded themselves in their homes. Maybe the Russians are waiting for us to kill each other ourselves. And they may be right. Only madmen roam the streets now. I won't let you get hurt as long as I live. I promise. In that case, I wonder how long it will last. Did you intend to inform me that you escaped from the Citadel? I've just risen from the dead. Besides, I didn't want to bother you. At least until I came up with a solution. And how is that going? I'm considering a few options. Give me some time. I'm just worried about you. Besides, I guess I'm most worried about Grazemka right now. I was in Mirov earlier, and the store is still standing. You can rest easy. At least there's one thing we don't have to worry about. This chaos in the city. How long has it been going on? Three days. Uncle brought you here half dead three days ago. Do you know what day it is? Hold on. The last day of summer. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you. You have risen from the dead. That has to be enough for me. At least until Christmas. Grazenka. I thought I'd find you in worse health. I see you've once again managed to avoid the consequences of your decisions. I'm afraid I must put a stop to this. You are under arrest for taking part in a conspiracy against the Tsar and engaging in terrorism. You'll also be held accountable for escaping from the Citadel and for your active support of the Socialists, the enemies of the Empire. Your brother didn't bother to mention that, Miss Ligia? 
You'll be coming with us, Mr. Sholsky. Why do you torment our family? What are you hoping to get out of it? And how the hell did you get the keys to our house? Dear Ligia, please try to understand that it was your brother who brought these dark clouds down upon your family. I'm just trying to disperse them without bloodshed. If you don't resist, I give you my word that no harm will come to your sister. Shall we? You are leaving. Straight to hell, you son of a bitch. If you think you'll take me away from my own home, you are mistaken. No, Chief. We'll finish this here. I didn't receive an invitation, so I decided to drop in on my own. After all, today is a Shulsky family holiday. Mr. Nyajit. Warsaw will get rid of two pests today. Wanna share any other fantasies? Don't worry about the broken window pane, Victor. I'll deduct it from the five rubles you still owe me.
I won't beg for mercy, if that's what you were hoping for. I loaded my piece today. Just say the word, and the balding prick will lose the other half of his face. Nyejits. Loyal to the end. Like a dog. Like his father. Are you going to let this mongrel deprive you of the pleasure? Will you leave my fresh corpse to your sister as a gift? Blood soaks into stone for many long years. A unique birthday gift. I won't kill you. So, you're a fool. There is no place in the world where you can hide from me. Consider it a birthday gift. Alive, he would never have left you alone. Yes, you're right. Thanks. About it, did you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What now? Now we'll do some cleaning. I'll fetch a shovel. Why, you'll be the protagonist of my next poem. Done. It doesn't even show. Well, I could help you more. No, no, it's your birthday. Rest in peace, Chief. How do you feel? How do I feel? Nijit just murdered the Chief of the Ochrana in the hallway. And saved our lives. What's next? What do you intend to do? I'm still thinking. Do you want to know what I would do? Please do. If it was so simple, I would leave as far away from here as possible. But I know that this city won't easily forget you, and you about it. Thank you. Did I help? I think so. I'll let you know how it went. <laughs> 